you know, with all the crazy stuff going on right now, I mean, the fact that you're being poisoned, your food and your water and your skies, but you're being poisoned like rats, do you really need to think about whether or not the world's flat? Is that not just a distraction? Can't we uh, fix the world first and then figure out if it's flat or round? Well, I'll tell you what. I grew up in California. I saw the sunset behind the ocean many a time. In fact, in San Diego, I worked on a fishing boat. I saw the sunset quite often on the ocean. I was on the ocean. The sun went behind the ocean, okay? Not only did I work in San Diego on fishing boats, this was years ago. A three-man boat, you know, you slept on it for like three days at a time. But I also worked on the big boats up in Alaska, too. You know, where you're out for a very long time. And, uh, well, what's a poor boy to do if he's just a laborer? Except look for the highest paying labor jobs there are, right? That was part of my privilege. It was my privilege to work 16-hour days, seven days a week for quarter-year seasons on the Bering Sea. And even then, it wasn't much thanks to NAFTA. But that's another story. Anyway, I had to stop doing that. I felt like we were overfishing the sea. And we were. I don't know why people inland have to eat seafood. It's kind of unnatural, don't you think? Plus, you're out for three months at a time, so you can't really have a social life. And about seven seasons of that. And I had to move on. I tell you, though, I saw some things out there that many people will never see up close and in person. For that, watch some of my Alaska footage on this channel. Anyway, I saw the sunset in Alaska, too. Guess what? It also went behind the sea. Go figure. Here, I'll read this uh, notorious flat earther question here. Why do people believe ships go over the horizon when they are simply moving out of sight? They can look through a telescope and bring the craft back into view. Objects get smaller when they get further away. Really? I'll tell you what, boss. I see the sun go over the horizon, too. I can't bring it back with my telescope, no matter how hard I try. In fact, everything grows dark. All I see through the telescope is black. It's beautiful, and its life matters, but it's just black. No sun. So I ordered a super duper Wiley Coyote Acme telescope that was 37 and a half feet long and I still couldn't bring the sun back, no matter how hard I tried. And I was really, really bummed out until I saw Annie. Oh, uh, my chick took me to see it. It's not like I go to that stuff by myself, but she assured me the sun will come out tomorrow. Here, look at these photographs again of the sun going down behind the ocean. You see here, there's some surfers in the water, wow. Okay. Oh, wait, one got out, or did a shark get him? Well, anyway, you see the sun going behind the ocean, clearly. Now, let's zoom in and see if we can bring it back, okay? You know, like the boats that disappear. Nope, 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 we zoom in, and it's still partially behind the ocean. And this is as it's setting. It hasn't set yet. Once it finally does set all the way down, uh, at least I know from San Diego to Alaska, mm, it's gonna get dark, okay? Wait, wait, wait. I've seen the sunset in Mexico, too. It got dark. I've seen it set in Southeast Asia. And sure enough, it got dark. Let's check with our affiliates in Russia. Got the dark, man. Let's check with our affiliates in France. Idiot. Thank you, Pierre. <coughs> yeah, yeah. What if they're doctored photographs? Okay, let's try some video footage of the sun setting behind the sea. Roll them. Ah, ah, ah. What's this? behind the sea, which is on the earth. It's, it's going behind the earth. It didn't get dark. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, it takes a little while. I mean, when, when the sun goes down, it's still, it's still light to, to some degree for a little while. Sometimes you see a green flash when it goes down, just when it gets to the end, when you're at sea. Or maybe that's a video of a fake sunset. I don't know. Could be. Could be. All right, let's go. Bonus feature. Hey, that being said, I do agree that photos of the Earth from space, which they present to us, are indeed fake. Well, a great many of them have to be. I mean, you look at this one, South America is proportionate. Then you look at the next one, South America covers half the, the planet. What's going on? Uh, 
That's North America. What did I say? You said South America. Did I? Yeah, you did. Well, how about this then? <laughs> now what, smarty pants? <laughs> so, these pictures of Earth are CGI. They're all computer generated. Why? What's really going on, ladies and gentlemen? That doesn't mean I think we're on a flat Earth. But NASA is full of fakery. I have to agree. And I'm going to bring you something you've never seen before. Nowhere on the internet have I seen it. Okay? I discovered it a long time ago. I meant, I meant to make a video for years, but once you have a kid, you, you're working hard to support everybody, and, and the time flies by, you, you almost miss them growing up because you're working so hard uh, and trying to save the world, right? But special bonus feature for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Moon Anomalies. After this message from our sponsors. Do you, do you have any unwanted pesky gold laying around your house? Like, you know, unwanted golden jewelry or anything? Well, if you do, uh, call us and we'll give you paper for your gold. Yeah, kind of like we did with your your currency. <laughs> call call one eight hundred Damascus. All right, we're back, and with that special promise, something you've never seen before about the moon anomalies. Well, you've probably seen this thing, but you haven't seen this take on it. Watch. What happened was, it was up in the corner of the photograph, just a little bit of light, and the, a guy noticed it, and he started to zoom in on it more and more, and then he started to enhance the light and try to bring out the light as much as he could with his computer program, until he brought out that much light. And he was like, oh my gosh, that's like a nine mile high castle and proportionate to, to this part of the surface of the moon. But he saw a nine mile high castle, I saw something completely different, okay? This is what I saw. Yeah. Some guy's hand holding down the corner of the mat, which kept rolling up, probably. Um, for a little miniature fake moon set, which they were taking pictures of. You know? Or it's just back there smoking a cigarette. Who knows? But that's what I saw. Okay, so it's not nine miles high. It's somebody's hand. They got caught. They said, just hold the camera corner down. Don't worry, you won't be in the photograph. It's too dark back there or something. And then criminals are lazy, so they don't, they don't check the photographs very, very thoroughly when they just release them to us, right? You know, in return for our billions of dollars for the space program. But they, they knew it was a matter of time before people started to figure it out, probably. So then they put out fake pictures where it was in the middle of the photograph. Look, we got another photograph of the, of the castle. Uh, it's more centered. What could it be? And the reason they did that is so that the, the top of the castle would end abruptly, and then they could say, it's not a man's arm. Where's the rest of the man? See? So, uh, if, you see, if you see this in the center of the picture, it's fake. The real original was up in the corner, and the end of his arm went right off the, the photograph. Okay? And it is a man's hand. There's no doubt. Call 1-800-DAMASCUS. Look, you know, big. Sorry, got on my microphone. <laughs> Moon anomaly, anonymous, anonymous, anomaly, anatomy, anomaly, anomaly. Thank you, anomaly. An Why can't I say it? I don't know. Anon anomaly. <laughs> Come on, eh? Anon anomaly. Moon anomaly. Anyway, how do you say it again? Anomaly. Well, now I can't see it. Anomaly. Anomaly. <laughs> Let me read it. I gotta read it. Oh, anomaly. Look at that one. Yeah, it's fake. Look at that one. No, that one's real. <laughs>